until, well, why don't you do lit? All of us are doing Units 3 for literature and one of my favourite things about it is that it's different to English because we get more freedom in what we choose to write about, how we perceive the text that we're studying um, and the essay topics are a lot more broad so you can interpret them your own way. And it's all about like structuring it how you kind of want to structure it rather than the exact you know, topic sentence and so on and so forth. We have more access to different types of like texts. So in English, you study more with articles and like newspapers and other books. But in literature, we have access to poetry and plays and all that. So while literature can be pretty hard sometimes, <laughs> um, I found I really like creative writing and things like that. And while it, that's not the main focus, I found that my writing has improved so much. Like mm -hmm. just my vocab and you know, how I phrase things, everything's just so much better now and mainly because of literature. Yeah, like in, um, with literature it's very um, specific, like they really want you to say something in a particular way and especially um, Miss Blyther, our teacher, she really makes sure that we um, express ourselves really well and use very good vocab to sound more sophisticated. So units one and two benefit three, four because the SACs that you do in one and two and your assessment tasks and class discussions really lead into three and four like um like there are some girls yeah there are some girls in our class who've just come into our class now with these two units and they're not very familiar with the way that we write because it's so different to english yeah the structure is completely different i mean because you have so much freedom they're not used to it because obviously english you're restricted um, so much to what the teacher and what I guess um, Vika wants you to do but yeah literature is really good that way because you can um, express yourself in a different way. And a lot of the texts even though they may have been written at different times kind of connect over the two years so it makes it a lot easier sometimes to interpret ideas and attitudes of a particular time. Alright so like things that we do in lit um, are looking at depending on whether it's a play or a book, but looking at like the way that the playwright or the author, um, like how their voice comes through in their work, so and how their opinions and attitudes towards a particular topic might be reflected through their characters and their storylines. Yeah, and to do this we kind of, while in English you kind of just focus on like, you know, the book or the play itself, Literature, we do a lot of background research and we hear other people's opinions on it and we can kind of gain more insight to the text itself through that. Yeah, and like touching on that, what um, Maddie means also is that um, we sometimes look at these um, novels or plays that we're studying through a particular lens. So whether that be through feminist, that means that we read the book like we are a feminist. a feminist, pretty much. So we analyse the way that men's roles um, are superior to to, to the women. roles of women yeah. in that particular time, and how that's demonstrated through like objects and um, stage directions, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, Lit is actually like so much fun. We do a lot of things also outside of school. So we went on um, an excursion to the state library last year, which was really fun. And we got to have a look at a lot of different um, texts and resources that help us with um, the things that we're currently studying. Um, and also, soon we are um, going to see um, Pygmalion <laughs> um, perform the play. Um, so we're really excited for that. And it's just kind of, it's just a lot more fun in literature having to discuss with other people who are interested in the same things as you, you yeah. know, and hear everyone's opinion. Yeah, because usually in lit, because... With English, you have to do it. Like, it's a prerequisite. So you don't really get to say what you want to say and you don't get to study the things that you want to study. And with Lit, it's different because it's your choice and the um, texts that we study are a lot more, like, relatable in some ways and easier to, you know, relate to. Yeah. And, like, what I find fun is, like, all the books and the films that we study are just, like, just they're so great. Like, the Truman yeah. Show was so much fun. Yeah. I um, think it's also just the way um, the class is. Yeah. I mean, the, the dynamics. The dynamics, really, yeah. Really, yeah. yeah. I think it's just, like, there's just something that's more fun about it. Like, in English, of course, like, you'll study 
films or yeah. similar place to what we're doing. But it's just the way our teacher and the class goes about it. Yeah. It's like an advanced book club. We're just like an advanced <laughs> book club. Because us three are all in year 11, um, but we've like become such good friends with some of the year 12 girls in our class yeah. because we're so interested in similar things to Yeah, them. and we all just get on, along really well, and I mean... It's a really good way to break down that barrier between yeah. the year 11s and the year 12s, or mm -hmm. if you're going into 1, 2, and you're a year 10, like, going into that. Yeah, and, like, there's no, like... Like, I find that us year 11s have no trouble, like, doing the work as well. Like, we chose to do it, and, like, we love doing it as well because it's so much fun. Yeah. So it's not difficult for us, even though we're a year younger. Yeah, mm -hmm. so... And there's also, oh. <laughs> okay. I was just gonna say, like, there's also like no judgment. I mean, we're all um, yeah. really happy to um, express our ideas in the class comfortably. Like, we don't um, worry about what other people yeah. say. We Which actually, is that you might we actually kind English, of like, yeah. thrive off it. I mean, we love yeah. hearing other people's ideas and opinions. And like in English, you're like worried that what you're gonna say isn't right because like. Well, yeah, because it's, 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 you might feel that way, but it's different. I just it's yeah. good to hear people who have an opposing view on what yeah. you're studying because you can either incorporate that into your analysis or the essay that you're writing, or you can even like use it to um, it slightly influences your own opinion. So instead of seeing one thing like a certain way, you also yeah. see it another way, which is really good as well. Like. Yeah. English is more like tunnel vision, where it's all set, like teal and like the what you're supposed to be studying. But like in literature, like we have so many class discussions and debates, and it's just it's really great to focus yeah. on that as well. Literature is really good because it can connect to other subjects that you might be studying. So Mahalo and I both do uh, philosophy, mm -hmm. and that's very like what we're doing right now is very analytical and looks at how ideas of like how specific people have drawn conclusions which is kind of can also relate to lit and link back to it um and also we both do history yeah um and some like, of the texts that we do and it helps with like lit. contextual information so like yeah. the era and the decade because we know that information from history we can connect that to the authors of in literature mm, that's good. and also because i do theater studies um, we actually studied the book, uh, the play The Tempest in Year 11, and I have to study that in Year 11 Theatre Studies as well. So, like, I have that to connect to, and all that study that I did, and all of the tasks that I did, I can look back on that for theatre. Mm -hmm. So, like I said before, I'm really interested in, like, creative writing, and also, like, accents and things, and we do a lot of stuff in literature that kind of you know, it like relates to my interests and it just makes it so much more fun. Like, you know, we, for Pygmalion, for example, a lot of the play is focused on the way people speak. So, um, because I like accents so much, it kind of really interests me. Yeah, and for me, um, well, for all of us really, we all absolutely love reading. And before I came into literature, I didn't really like read a lot of the classics, but I wanted to but I didn't really have that introduction to it. Mm -hmm. um, and I kind of fell into that habit of seeing things the way that people who hadn't read it would see it like that. It's just like really old language and like hard to understand and that sort of thing. But literature really opens your eyes up to read like the classics than it could be yeah. for the more mm -hmm. modern day novels. Yeah. And like it also prepares you for what you want to do in the future. Like we do a lot of work that would be done in a university setting mm -hmm. and like any like subjects like it could if you want to be an author or a, or a teacher it really helps you with that yeah it's definitely a building block i mean mm -hmm. for university because the it's quite complex what we do in literature and um like like i mentioned before about you know applying a certain perspective to a book um that's a lot of um that's actually something that they do in university so we've actually already got that head start um already and we, we do a lot of work in literature, but it really prepares you for your exams and for the future. Even though, like I said before, we don't do a lot of creative writing in literature, I feel that studying the way that, uh, like, why authors do this and, you know, the way that they use language has helped so much. And um, I've actually become a lot more interested in creative writing because of it as mm -hmm. well, because I want to expand my own ideas and make my writing more complex. For people out there who love reading, 
love writing, just love anything about the English language, we recommend that yeah. you pick literature. Yeah. I mean, if you really love English and you still feel like it's not quite giving you what you need, go for lit because it will provide you with just yeah, so many resources and just improve your English skills immensely. Talking to like other people who are in year 11 and doing units one and two, they prefer literature to English because it's so like free in the way that you write, the way that you analyse, the way that you perceive things. <laughs> um, and it's also like a good way to improve how you're writing in English and the sort of language that you use because it's so much more sophisticated and complex than the basic ideas that you might cover in English. Yeah. So it will help you with English as well. Like yeah. we've all improved. And Oops. even if, you know, maybe you like English but not necessarily, maybe you also really like just looking at theories, you know, and having like looking into things a bit deeper without necessarily liking the writing side of it. Lit Literature really goes into that as well, and you can improve your writing in the meantime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And those of you who might not even like English might even prefer lit to English. So if you did lit, then you could do it. It might even, do. yeah, like increase your interest yeah. in, in English. English. Exactly. Well. Like, I mean, I've always kind of liked English, but I haven't absolutely loved it. But then when I did literature, it made me like English more. Yeah, so. and it also really, like as before we were discussing, really relates to other subjects. Like, yeah. I do really analytical subjects and the skills that I learn in Lit really help me with the way that I write essays and the way that I um, remember information and that sort of thing as well. Like in any subject, it helps you write so much better and so much more like structured and fluently. It's, yeah. Yeah. So, you should really study Lit. Lit is lit.